Welcome to Solid Signal's hands-on review of the C31 RView client. The RView client is a whole new technology from DirecTV. The DirecTV C31 connects to a coaxial cable, just like any other receiver, but that's where the similarity stops. The C31 is designed to be used with the HR34 Super DVR. The HR34 does all the hard work. It does the tuning, the scheduling, the recording. All the C31 does is get information from the HR34 and put it up on your television. This means the C31 can be small and quiet. It's got no fan inside so it operates silently. And how small? You won't believe how small. Take a look at this. This is the C31 sitting on top of DirecTV's previously smallest receiver, the H25. I mean, this thing is really tiny. In case that doesn't drive it home, take a look at this. This is the top of the C31. Five and a half inches. I mean, how's it going to get any smaller than that? One of the ways they make it so small is by using an external power supply. They use the same power supply that's used in the H25 receiver. Of course, compared to this tiny little C31, it looks pretty huge, doesn't it? The back of this little box is just packed. There's a coaxial input. The C31 is swim only. There is a connection for an AV out, which is component or composite if you need it for an older TV. There's an HDMI port. There is a completely unused USB port, just as always. There's a digital audio connection, RCA only, but you can adapt it to optical. And there's a power connector with an indicator light that glows a little bit too brightly. Piece of electrical tape will take care of that. Other than the front panel button, the only other button on this is the reset button on the right side. There's no access card because it's not really a receiver. Remember, the HR34 does all the work. There's a front panel button that glows when you turn it on, and a network light that turns green when the C31 is connected. Of course, what you really want to know is how does it perform? Older DirecTV receivers weren't always so fast. I shot some live, unedited video to show you. Forgive the quality, this is just pointing a camera at the TV. The menus are exactly the same as the HR34 because the HR34 is doing all the work. The playlist takes a second to pop up, but once it does, you can page through it very quickly. It's the same thing with the guide. It takes a second to come up, but once it does, you can page through things quite quickly. There's almost no lag after you push the button before it starts to scroll. I was actually surprised at how fast it works considering the HR34 is doing all the work and the C31 is just showing all the screens. Feature-wise, you're going to find all the same things you find on the HR34. YouTube wasn't available quite yet, but I do expect it really soon. In fact, the C31 has all the same features as the HR34. You can even do double play on it. Smart Search is the same one that's used on the HR34, not the kind of cripple version that's used on the H25. And it's fast, too. There was practically no difference between performance on the HR34 and the same performance on the C31. In my opinion, DirecTV's got themselves a real winner here. The C31 does everything that a DDR does when it's connected to an HR34 except it's completely silent, and it hides behind a television. You can even use an RF remote with it, and there's going to be a wall mount. This is the ultimate disappearing receiver for the bedroom. This is really what DirecTV needs right now. It's even smaller than Dish's Joey. We expect these to be in short supply for a little while. This is the same pattern DirecTV has shown with its HR34 and other older receivers. Keep checking SolidSignal.com or the Solid Signal blog, and we'll let you know when they're available. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.